Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside District 6. Today we'd like to highlight one of our educators. He's one of only six teachers nationwide chosen to participate in a research project with NASA. Today joining us is Mr. Garrison Hall, a teacher here at Gable Middle School. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about this project that you're working on with NASA. Well, this project is dissimilar to what I've been involved with in the past. Typically, I've been involved with planetary missions in our solar system. So uh, JPL, that's the Jet Propulsion Lab in Cal California, has invited me as a, as a teacher to go there and learn and talk to different engineers and scientists on on spirit and opportunity and curiosity. Now that's awesome, I mean, to be one of only six chosen nationwide. How do you feel about that? Pretty good. I feel really <laughs> honored to be in, in that category of six. And how do you think that that will enhance your ability to teach our students here in District 6? Students know if you know your topic or not, first of all, and they appreciate people who are involved in the real science and the real world. And so these engineers and scientists have given me that chance to actually talk to them and be involved with the launchings and, and what was going on when they gathered data and sent the data back to Earth. And so I've been involved with those kind of things as well. Now this is not the first time that you've actually been involved with NASA, is it? No, it is not. I've been involved for over 20 years. And I've applied as a teacher to do several of the NASA programs. Uh, one of them is the Solar System Educator Program and the Solar System Master Teacher Educator Program. And so basically what happens is they send you to different NASA facilities and tell you all about what's going on with the different launches and the different satellites and different missions. And we get to meet the scientists and we get to meet the engineers. We talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. We go and eat with them. And then our job is to come back and show our colleagues, tell our colleagues what's going on and, and uh, as well as our students. Besides being a science teacher, this year for the next 13 months I will be considered a scientist. My degree is not as a scientist, but I would consider myself yeah. pretty close to that. You're, you're in the role of a scientist I'm right in, now. I am act you're exactly right. I'm, I'm in the role of a scientist this year. All right, and you've got some students back here working on a few things. What are they working and on? And they're working on robots. We, as a Project Lead the Ways classroom, we work on robotics in this room, automation and robotics. And so right now they're kind of tightening up some robots for competition. That's a tremendous opportunity as well, really giving students hands-on experiences. We do. Our, our whole class and our philosophy here is, at Project Lead the Way and in my classroom is project-based. So not just learning from a textbook, exactly. but hands-on experiences. Exactly. Have any of your students uh, asked you anything about the research project? Do they seem excited about it? Uh, they do have several kids who want to be part of this. They want to do some of the real, authentic research which is kind of nice. There's a stretching, and I'm making my students stretch because I'm being stretched by the Spitzer, uh, the Spitzer astronomer. What a wonderful opportunity, and I thank you so much for well, joining for us today, me. and thank you for joining us for another edition of Inside District 6. If you have story ideas that you would like for us to highlight, please email those ideas to district6 at spart6.org. Again, that's district6 at spart6.org. Thank you so much for your support of Spartburg School District 6, where children are always first. <laughs>